site specifically geared toward travelers is raising some controversy over what it is and what it isn't. Miss Travel launched recently with the goal of pairing attractive travelers with generous travelers. The idea is to bring together individuals that share a love for travel but lack either the funding or the companion to do so. The internet, however, does not seem to be convinced of Miss Travel's intentions. People are speaking out all across the web and mainstream media calling the site a prostitution service. And Brandon Wade, the founder and CEO of Miss Travel, is joining us now by way of Skype to talk about his service and the controversy over it. Thanks for joining us today, Brandon. Thank you for having me. Great. Well, when people ask you what Miss Travel is, how do you describe it? Well, it's a dating website that combines the adventure of travel. That's the way I would describe it. Okay, and as far as how it works, um, how, how do you all make money through this service? Well, the website works just like any other dating website, so it's actually free for the attractive users to join, mm -hmm. but the, uh, the generous users would actually have to pay to purchase credits, which they then use to unlock communication with the attractive users on the website. Mm -hmm. So that's ultimately how we make money at the end of the day. All right. Well, according to, to the website, it says that it, that it does a lot more than matchmaking. What, what else does it do? Well, primarily it is uh, matchmaking. It really helps people get to know each other um, and, of course, to explore their common interest in traveling. Ultimately, people meet and they form friendship. Not all relationships ultimately uh, end up happening because, you know, obviously it depends on whether two people who meet have chemistry. And if there's no chemistry, that certainly can be friendship and, and networking. Well, why does the site specifically advertise uh, for, for, to attractive people? Um, well, for a lot of reasons. I, I think all the websites that I've built so far focuses on the common theme that you know you need to be a little bit generous um, and in order to sort of have dating on your advantage, uh, basically have an advantage of dating. So all my websites, be it Seeking Arrangement, What'sYourPrice.com or Miss Travel has that same theme. We ask people who are generous to sign up or attractive, but attractive really is in the eye of the beholder. I mean, we're not saying, well, you have to be a certain size or you have to be so tall in order to qualify as being attractive. As long as you look in the mirror and you feel you're attractive, you can sign up for the website. And that's one of the reasons why there's a lot of attractive users of all shapes and sizes, different ages, um, people of different skin color are all signing up. Well, although the site blatantly says that, quote, escorts are not allowed, many people are, are accusing it of essentially being an escort service. So what is your response to this perception? Well, there's also a lot of people who understand it is not an escort website. I think, you know, we advocate the fact that generous users have to pay for the travel expenses of the attractive users. But no way on the website do we advocate that money can be exchanged between the members, nor is the word sex ever in, uh, sort of mentioned on the website. And on top of that, we are very clear that escorts are not allowed on the website, and we take a lot of proactive action to kick the escorts off our website. So all in all, I think we did a very good job in communicating the fact that this is not an escort website. It is, in fact, a dating website for people who love to travel. And we stand by that claim. Hmm. Well, some people, though, are, are, are really just not convinced by this because of, because of your other business ventures, such as SeekingArrangement.com and What'sYourPrice.com. So is Miss Travel sort of tongue-in-cheek, or, or is there really no connection? Well, actually, all my websites, uh, escorts are not allowed on any of them. I, I think there's a fine line between, you know, where when money is sort of uh, exchanged. But at the same time, you're really talking about dating somebody who is generous. My motto is that if you are a guy, you should be a gentleman and you should pay for a woman when you go out there. Some feminists seem to take offense to that. They feel that perhaps, uh, you know, it, it takes away the, the, the rights that they've fought so hard for. But I really don't see anything wrong with that. When, my, when I was growing up, my mom is always complaining that my dad is not buying her any jewelry and she has had to buy gifts for herself. And she was crying about that. And she told me when I was growing up as a kid, when you grow up, make sure you're always generous to your wife and, and the women you date. That's a really, really important thing. So generosity and paying for an escort, they're huge. there's a huge difference between the two. So I'm really not sure why people keep reading in between the lines and thinking that just because a guy pays for a woman to travel means that it has to be similar to an escort service. It really isn't. 
Well, are you at all concerned that this negative perception that some people are having of this travel, are you afraid that it will harm working with, with other dating or travel sites going forward? I, I think so. I mean, obviously, we're trying to do a lot with this website. We are trying to advertise the website on other travel uh, websites as well. And we're trying to partner up with uh, those in the media to create a, a show about, about the topic also. So the last thing I want is this constant reminder that it, it has something to do with an escort uh, service because it, it does not. There are tons of escort service out there. If somebody really wants to um, you know, use an escort service, there's hundreds of such websites. You don't need to come to uh, uh, mistravel.com to look for something like that because it's, it's a much more expensive way to find an escort if, if that's ultimately what you want to do. And one of the things we're going to try and do is to showcase some of the success stories to show that members are actually meeting other like-minded people and actually having an amazing time exploring the world and finding love. We're going to show the world that this is very different from what they think. Well, overall, where would you like to see Miss Travel go? I would love for Miss Travel to really take off in a big way. I, mean, I know it has in the past three weeks since we launched. We've already signed up close to 50,000 members since we, uh, we initially launched. In fact, we're pretty backlogged in terms of the number of uh, profiles that we still have to approve. Um, but I really want this thing to, to, to expand and grow. I mean, we live in a world that is getting smaller and smaller. I, I think it's important for people to travel and see the world. But what's even better is traveling is such an important aspect of dating. When you travel with someone, you really get to know a lot about them that you normally would not see if you don't travel with them. You know, how they pack. What sort of thing they like when they travel? Do they like to go to the zoo or do they prefer to go to the museum? I think you can find out so much more about a person when you travel with them and really make a decision as to whether you might want to end up dating them seriously for the long term. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. Thanks so much for talking with us, Brandon. Thank you, Abby, for having me. You're welcome. And to check out this website for yourself, visit mistravel.com. Reporting for WebPro News, I'm Abby Johnson.